Hello everyone, do you want to understand what your audience like watching in your videos? Of course you do! You can actually get more than 100% audience retention. On this episode, let's talk about how you can examine your audience retention. It can be found on your analytics page. Not only that, we'll throw in a few tips to keep your audience watching. Hey Freedom, what's up? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all Freedom content. Before we dive in with the analytics of audience retention, like, sub, and gong that bell to be updated with our videos. So guys, without any more further ado, let's dive in the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Hey guys, before we could do anything else, let's talk about what audience retention is. Audience retention is an element in your videos that lets you know what portions in your video your audience is still watching or dropping off. You will see that there will be spikes, flats, and of course dips in the analytics page. Usually the spikes say that people are watching those kinds of clips in your videos and they like what they are watching. Unfortunately, the drops, they are most likely the skipped portions of your videos. But when you see the graph is flat, that means that people are continually watching your videos, which is good. Check out these graphs to understand more about audience retention. In this graph, you can see there is a flat graph. This is actually good. It means that people are constantly watching the scenes of your videos. It just means you did a good job in capturing your audience's curiosity and interest. On the second graph, you can see a gradual decline that is something that you need to take seriously because it just means that your audience are slowly losing interest in your videos. On this graph, you can see that there are bumps on your videos. The bumps mean that people like that part of your video. It can also mean that they have shared this part of your video as well, so keep it up. Sometimes, in some content creators, the bumps that they have usually reaches more than 100% audience retention rate. In contrast to bumps, there are dips. Dips mean that there are portions of your videos that people skip. These skips mean that they didn't like the portion of that video. You might need to revisit them and find out what are the things they didn't like in that portion. A sudden drop means viewers are leaving your videos at a specific location. It means that they don't like your videos at a certain point. They lose interest immediately. This is alarming because if that happens, people lose interest and they won't watch your videos anymore. Now that we know what these graphs are, we want to help you out with this, so let's talk about some best practices you can do to improve your audience retention. And it's easy, just make a good hook. The hook usually means your first 15 seconds of the video. Your first 15 seconds is the most crucial part of your videos because it is where their interests will be peaked. So in order to get their interests, you can either 1. Make a clear and defined value hook where you show what your video is all about in its entirety. Number two is provide a brief preview of your videos. Always make sure that the preview is the best parts of your videos. Or maybe a sneak peek where you just give them a few seconds of what the video covers. Maybe the most exciting ones or maybe the questions that what happened. Or maybe a confusing scene that will get them hooked. And pattern interrupts. What do we mean by pattern interrupts? Pattern interrupts means that you shake things up in the video. Maybe you can change camera angles. You can put up pop-ups and other things to disrupt the usual pattern. Usually people love these kinds of disruptions. Also, you can incorporate open loops. Open loops are like the introduction of a series where it gives you more of like a sneak peek into the video itself. We say an open loop because you end it with your viewers thinking what happens in the video. Now that we know how to make a good hook, below will be more tips on how you can increase your watch time. Number one is, you don't need to start with your logo. Viewers really don't get hooked with your logo. Well, if it's an animated video, that will look fantastic. And also, that will be a different thing. But just a general note, try not to start with your logo. Start with the ones we have suggested a while ago. Your logo will be the branding of yourself or your channel, reminding them that you are watching your videos. Number two is jump cuts. Have you ever watched a long static shot of a subject? It's kind of boring, huh? Always try to do jump cuts in a very creative way so that you can get your audiences interested in your videos. Number three is use B-rolls. B-rolls are a good way to introduce your videos as it is quite refreshing to see. Add strong pattern interrupts to it and get your audience hooked. So guys, do you think that these tips will help you get your audience retention? And if not, let us know down below what are the best tips to increase your audience retention. Comment on the comment section below. I'll be waiting. Share this to your friends so that they can get an idea on how to add up that audience retention. Before you leave guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell so that you will be updated with our videos. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!